imagine you're at a large convention and you just delivered the best program ever and you know, of course, you receive a standing ovation. You're invited to their dinner, which happens to be a fun circus theme event. The room is gorgeous with balloons, colorful tablecloths with cotton candy as a centerpiece. There's corn dogs and root beer, an acrobat talent up on stage, and clowns walking around, which is so awesome or creepy. There's a popcorn machine in one corner and a baby elephant for photo ops in another, and music throughout the entire ballroom. Everyone is having so much fun until it was time to serve dessert. One wait staff that had a tray full of dishes and glassware actually stepped from the ba ballroom carpet to the back of the house tile floor, misstepped, and fell. The dishes and glassware went crashing down, which spooked that side of the ballroom, including the baby elephant. Suddenly, the baby elephant went up on its wobbly hind legs while making powerful grunts and cries, and eventually lost its balance, fell over, and died. Talking about the elephant in the room? Now, I know most of you are thinking, whew, I'm glad that didn't happen while I was speaking, but what if it did? What would you do? What would you say? After all, you are holding the microphone. Country singer Jason Aldean was on stage during the Las Vegas shooting, and he said, I regret not being able to help and protect my fans. I should have said something. I had the microphone right in my hand. One of the biggest threats in the meetings industry is the safety of those they serve. And it's not just about active shooters, hurricanes, or even elephants passing away. There are much bigger threats on the horizon, like drone privacy, marijuana solicitation, and even human sex trafficking, where internet trolls look for conference venues as a distraction to order children like pizza. Because of this, the meetings industry is going to increase their potential disruption uh, plans from 40% in, in five years. So, welcome to the future of speaking. The meeting professional roles have changed, now the speaker roles will change. You will do more than just help change the lives of your audience, you will save them as well. So you must be prepared for anything. How? Show your value more effectively by thinking like a meeting professional. Have the conversation and ask the, the direct questions like, what are the group's destination concerns? Where I'm from in Arizona, we're all about the safety of immigration and the wall. And how's it going to be built? How expensive is it going to be? But yet, as a meeting professional, I'm thinking, that's easy, pipe and drape. Learn the terminology and codes, something as simple as CPR, and how to be part of that plan when there's an emergency. What if you were speaking at a breakfast meeting and all of a sudden you saw someone frantically choking on a piece of bacon? What would you do? By the way, how many of you have your CPR certification? Great, which means the rest of you don't. Okay, neither do I, but I should, definitely should. Also, familiarize yourself with venues, like here at the Baltimore Marriott, where there's actually evacuation maps that show assembly points easily available to you on Google. And, of course, review the room that you'll be presenting in, too. Here's a test. Right now, I want everyone to close your eyes. Tell me out loud, how many exit doors are in this room? How many house phones are in this room? How many windows are in this room? Okay, none, just wanna make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Safety and security is a tough topic for the meetings industry, but this is not their first act. They've had to deal with very unusual issues like HIV disease, SCARS, Zika, and they're still surviving. This is not the meeting industry's first rodeo. Actually, the National Rodeo Association just had their annual meeting and their attendance dropped, and that definitely was not their first Isn't the speaking industry like a rodeo too? While we worry about AV issues, attendees being on their devices, we as an industry need to recognize that times have changed. 
We need to move forward by leveraging those relationships for a much bigger arena, a safe meeting environment for all. So the question is, are you truly ready to be a professional when it comes to safety and security in the meetings industry? Because it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's a matter of when it's going to happen. And when it does, it's you holding the microphone.